What's up, y'all? Jack Tompkins with Pineapple Consulting Firm, always trying to help the small business world become more data-driven. Today, we're talking marketing ROI. So if you've seen other videos, we've been talking about HubSpot. We're always talking financial impact. Let's merge the two, right? So we've got this calculator out there. It is a marketing ROI calculator. It's really helpful just to kind of put things into perspective. Now, it is a little bit manual. Uh, we can automate it. You can get really, really fancy with this. You can make a whole dashboard out of it. But in this video, we're just talking this calculator here. Uh, reach out if you want something customized beyond this, but we do offer this as a product on the site as well. So big thing with marketing ROI, right? The goal is what are we doing that's working best? What are we doing that's working the worst, arguably more importantly, right? So with a marketing ROI uh, metric, you want to see the relative impact by marketing activity. So if I jump to the end real quick, we don't really care that this referral group is 72% as an example, and the email campaign is 76% ROI. The difference between those two isn't the be all end all. We wouldn't immediately say, okay, we're only doing email campaign and we're never gonna do referral group again. It's This is the one time I'll say this in my data driven life, the numbers, at the end aren't the be all end all. It's much more for a gauge of seeing, okay, this one at 27%, not really working. This one at 226, really working, right? And then everything else kind of falls somewhat in the middle here. Maybe SEO bumps up a little bit too. So the purpose of this is really to be able to measure what you're putting into marketing activities and what they're producing for you. So there's two things that you get out of marketing in general. One is monetary gain, right? Easy version, you get clients out of it. Clients produce revenue, there's our monetary gain. The other thing is the brand value gain. So this is kind of like if you see a Geico billboard or something, right? You're not gonna go get Geico insurance because you saw a billboard. However, when you need insurance, the Geico billboard plus the Geico commercials plus all these other things where you're constantly seeing it, it may make you think of Geico first. Now. Obviously, in our small business world, we're not advertising like Geico. However, there is some brand value to be gained by doing things in the small business world that we're used to, like networking, posting on LinkedIn, et cetera. So you've got your monetary gain from getting clients. You've got your brand value gain. And there's some functions over here which help uh, quantify the brand value gain because that is a very, very big question. But all of this you get positively from marketing. So you get your total brand value over here and all that good stuff. Now on the expense side, right? Things take money and things take time. It's very easy to say, oh, well, you know, the referral group costs 300 bucks a year, so it's 300 bucks. But the referral group, it's, you know, you might have to drive there. It's an hour long Zoom. It's an hour long meeting, whatever it is. Make sure that time is accounted for. And the time, if you hit that with an hourly rate, which you can input over here, now you've got a total cost because we know the monetary expense that it takes to do this marketing. We need to factor in the time that it takes to do those marketing activities, even something like SEO, making a new website page, making a YouTube video, whatever it is, you got to track that time. So all in, we've got all the positives in green over here from marketing activities. And then we've got the expenses related to those marketing activities. All of that results in an ROI percent. And all of that is defined down here. If you get the tool, you can see the rest of this and I can even move my face a little bit. For every dollar you spend, how many dollars are you getting out of it? And again, these final numbers here, they're meant to be a guide um, where 226 is great, 27 is bad. They're between 72 and 76%. It's unlikely that you're able to identify the 4% difference there. So it's probably safe to say that those are about the same. So this is the marketing ROI calculator. This is just something we've got off the shelf. We can customize it much more. We can make it into a whole dashboard. I've had clients that have uh, several page dashboards on ROI for their marketing activities because it is such an important thing. As always, if you are doing marketing, you should be tracking the impacts of it. A great way to do that is the marketing ROI calculator. Please feel free to reach out with questions. I've been Jack Tompkins with Pineapple Consulting Firm. Let's help that small business world become more data-driven.